Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, I will talk about the correlation. So correlation is a statistical measure. If you are coming from the statistical background, if you are, you have used the correlation in the past, it basically tells us how, <coughs> how the two values or the two measures are correlated. For example, whether sales is correlated with profit or discount is correlated with the profit that means that if you are giving more discount whether the profit is increasing or decreasing that means is there any relation between those two right so let's see this how we can add the correlation so here i am in the simple table which we have been using in a lot of different examples and i will add a column which is a measure and i will go in the expression editor and I will say Corel. That's it, Corel. And I will say sales profit. Remember, you don't need to use the uh, any expression like sum of sales or sum of profit in this case. That's that's pretty much it. Basic syntax that we are doing, and we are clicking apply. And let me drag it up here. And here we have the correlation. Now let me click on done and uh, if you see uh, correlation varies but it varies anywhere between 40 to 60 mostly right and it basically says that there is an average relation between the sales and profit why because the correlation range uh, ranges from minus one to plus one minus one indicates that perfectly negative correlation that means if one value is going towards north then another value is going towards south right so that's perfectly negative correlation whereas plus one indicates positive correlation so here all the values are positive so that indicates that there is a positive correlation but the positive correlation if it is near to one that means it's absolutely perfect that means if one value one sales is going up the profit is also going up so for example 0.73 it shows a very high positive correlation that means here based on the sales that we have made uh, it has impacted a profit a lot whereas if you see 0.49 which is like in the middle which says there is a very average or correlation that means uh, not a lot of impact which sales is making so this way you basically interpret the different values and uh, create using Corel, you create the cor correlation between the two values. Now you can experiment it a lot based on the different measures that you have and you can apply the dimension, for example, technology just to look at. Uh, so here 0.96, see it's how, how uh, you know, uh, close to plus one it is and the value can never be never go beyond minus one and plus one so it, it really shows that there is a strong correlation between the sales and profit in the q2 whereas you can compare the q2 of previous year and you say no here in this case there was nothing major uh, going on in that case so that's about how you can create the correlation between the two measures using the corral function and get some uh, good interpretation out of it.